Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if all start the devotion guys, so I'd like to shout out the Palin Preserve channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotion natin dari na. Shout out and God bless to Richard Vlog, Royal Vlog TV, Your Vlog TV, CKA na Academics di Suyo, Connie Vlog, Monique Clemore, Heart Ponsalan, Michael Aburita, Tim Guapa, Yans TV, Molik Salamada, Honey Love, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Just ring ko studio and even to those who did not join us during the premiere but still nagpunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Hello guys, we're now on a new month. February na talaga, no? Sana yung mga nakikita ko sa Facebook, sinasabi na, sana you will be good to me. <laughs> sana nga, no? Kaya, punta tayo kay Lord talaga. So, our month, our day, our hour, our life would be good. Sa mga estudyante, kumusta yung nat natin? Sana malaki yung marka natin, no? sa grade 12 and kumusta na rin yung ano nyo yung yung second grading exam nyo kanina no? it started kanina and sana malaki rin ang, or mala, mataas din yung marka nyo kasi bukas we still have another exam for you kaya God bless sa mga sadyante natin okay guys let's not proceed to our devotional let's open our bible to Amos chapter 5 verses 21 to 24. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used is so simplified to maintain talaga natin. Okay, this is the day of the Lord, no? Ang title dito sa Bible. Okay, the word of the Lord in Amos chapter 5 verses 21 to 24 says, I hate, I despise your religious feast. I cannot stand your assemblies, even though you bring me burnt offering and greens offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offering, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your song, I will not listen to the music of your harp. But let's rejoice, roll on like a river. Uh, but let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never falling stream. Amen and amen. I guess let's now pray. Yes, dear God, may mga offering talaga kami na hindi mo natatanggap the way of what you have said to these people during the time of Amos. Forgive us, our God. Forgive us from doing so. Sometimes we just give because we, want, we wanted to be exempted from the work you wanted us to do. And what you want us to do, regret, is to really do the thing you want us to do. That's why, Lord, it is better to do the thing you want us to do at the same time to have an offering for you. Maski yung prayer namin, O God, is already an offering for you. Sometimes we can afford, we can't afford to give you an offering, but we offer our life unto you, O God. Lord, Help us to accept our offering to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay guys, our <clears throat> focus verse for this evening is found in Amos chapter 5 verse 24. It says, But let justice rule on like a river, righteousness like a never failing stream. So the title of the devotion for this evening guys is A Mighty stream. Among the many exhibits and artifacts exploring the hard reality of slavery and its aftermath in the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C., I was grateful to discover the contemplative court. This tranquil room features translucent walls of bronze, glass, and water 
appears to rain down from the ceiling into a pool. As I sat in that peaceful space, a quote on the wall from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. caught my eye. We are determined to work and fight until justice rains down like water and righteousness, like a mighty stream. These powerful words are drawn from the Old Testament book of Amos. Amos was a prophet living among a people who were involved in religious activities such as celebrating festivals and offering sacrifices, but those hearts were far from God. This is seen in Amos 5, 21-23. God rejected their activities because they turned away from His command, including those regarding justice towards the needy and oppressed. Instead of religious ceremonies, devoid of love for God and others, Amos wrote, that God longed for His people to demonstrate genuine concern for the welfare of all people, a generous way of living that would be a mighty river bringing life forever it flowed. Jesus taught the same truth that loving God is connected with loving our neighbors in Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 39. As we seek to love God, May it come from the hearts that also treasure justice. Amen and amen. <clears throat> yes, guys, there are really instances na let's serve thy kind Lord without reconciling ourselves. Kaya parang we felt so guilty. This is what the people of Amos have done. Kaya nireject the Lord yung, ano, yung offering nila. Ganyan din siguro yung nangyayari sa atin. No? If we offer something, God is not pleased with what ano, with uh, what we're giving. Kasi nga, our hearts is not ready or probably we are keeping a sin ourselves. That's why hindi accepted ni Lord yung offering. Yes, the best offering you can give is ourselves. Young Lord, I offer my life to you. Kata parang kay Don Moin niya, no? It's a very nice song. The very thing we can give to God. Kung wala man tayong mga resources, wala tayong pera. Kasi sa kanila noon, ang offering is so mahal. The, ano, the cheapest gift they can give is yung dog, no? Kasi malit lang. And, Ang pinaka-gift nila dati is yung mga baka talaga, no? malalaking baka, without blemish. Since we cannot afford to give, uh, to buy something like that, then we have to offer ourselves. Na yung sins natin, aano rin, no? <laughs> ng streams, mighty streams, na, wala, na mawala yung mga sins natin. Gaya sa nangyari sa ano, mga taogan ni Amos. Kaya, let's offer ourselves to God. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. How might you love God to pursue injustice for others? Hmm. Prayer? The very thing I can do. <laughs> no? Ayaw ko rin kasi makisawsaw sa mga ano, ganyan. No? Kaya, ano, prayer lang talaga yung magagawa ko para sa kanila. Second question. What are examples of generous living towards the needy or oppressed that encourage you? Uh, yes, may isudyante ako, no? Na, natuwa ako na he always go to my office, spend time with me. Kasi ano siya eh, wala siyang father. Then, I realized last year I also have a student na ganun din yung ano. May father siya, pero yung father niya is ano, uh, working far, so... Sabi ko, Lord, these uh, people are really looking for a father image. So, natuwa din ako sa role ko sa kanila. No? Ang dami nila po punta sa office ko, pag vacant nila, doon sila. Nakikinig lang ako sa kanila. Then, siyempre, yun na, yung sabi ko kanila sa first question, I'll just pray for them. And I'm so happy about that. No, I'm so happy about that. So, I will not just mention the name, pero they know who they are, you know, 
uh, sumasali din sila dito sa devotion. Huh? So I praise God for this life na matutulungan natin. If I have something, then I'm also giving them something. No? So that's how I share to them. I guess it's not praying. Heavenly Father, thank you that your love is like a mighty stream that brings justice to all. Help us to join you in your healing works. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, for mga ganitong situation, yung justice na mas malakas ang justice natin kay God. Guys, God bless us all because I know God which will bless us 10 times better. This is again Richard Bates TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit lang sa muli. Paalam!